Hi folks, in today's video we're going to be painting some miniatures using Chimera Models new K color paint. But first of all I want to say a huge thank you to Chimera Models for sending me the paints out for review. If you check the description box down below you'll find a direct link to their web store. And another great bonus guys, Chimera Models have given me a 10% discount off code called Nerd 10 if you go to their web store you can get 10% off this great paint set and everything else on their web store. The first thing to know about the K colours are they're in 30 milliliter dropper bottles. Now this is great if you're actually uh, going to be painting a lot of miniatures in one particular colour. But more on that later. Another thing to note about these colours is they dry ultra matte on the surface of a miniature which is my preference on miniatures. I love a really nice matte finish to my miniatures um, but that is a preference. Some people prefer a slightly satin finish to their miniatures uh, but me personally I like a matte finish. Also another great thing about these paints is they're very highly pigmented. Each paint has at least 30% pigment to medium uh, ratio so when you see me place the paints down on the palette a little later on in the video you'll see how wow uh, the paints can hold up to being thinned with water. If you use acrylic thinning medium they'll thin even better but with water it's just fine as it is. Apologies for the snoring in the background, it's uh, the afternoon and Jax and Nala, my two pugs, have decided this is the best time for them to have a nice nap. Okay, the great thing about these paints also guys is they have agitators in the bottles, so I like a little ball bearing for example. And what that does is it enables you to shake the paints up and mix the pigment with the medium really thoroughly. Here you can see I'm thinning the paint down with water and I'm heavily thinning it down and the paint's still not breaking up on the palette. And as you can see as I place the paint down on the miniature the opacity is still really high. This red colour as you can see is giving pretty much one coat coverage even heavily thinned. Now we're going to test another colour, we're going to test red oxide and we're going to paint it onto the shoulder pauldron of a space marine. And as you can see a drop of paint is placed onto the palette and you don't see no gel medium, you don't see any um, consi inconsistencies in the actual paint, it's thoroughly mixed straight out of the bottle and as you can see when we thin it it still paints on the miniature absolutely beautifully. I can't emphasize enough guys how smooth and nice these paints are. I'm going to start highlighting the shoulder pauldron adding some red to the red oxide color and we're going to slowly build up a highlight i say slowly i do this over a space of a minute or two but if you're a very good talented painter you may spend an hour uh, painting a shoulder pauldron to get some really beautiful color transitions as you go through the lighter tones of red and oranges and even yellow
Another great thing about these paints is because they do thin so well, you can work in glazes. So you could really highlight the shoulder pauldron using oranges and yellows, and then you're bringing it to an orangey yellow spectrum, but then you could just glaze over it with the red and bring the tone back to a nice red and still leave all of those highlights behind because of how thin you can paint with this um, paint. They've also included a satin medium in the box set. Now this is great if you want to mix up the paint to create a more satin effect um, on your miniature. So you can actually create different textures using the satin medium and mixing it in with your paints. Here we're testing the green colour and as you can see, just like every single paint we've tested so far, it's a very nice uniform colour straight out of the bottle. Green can be a very problematic colour to paint with as um, it's hard to get a nice smooth even uh, coverage with a dark green. But this green is absolutely lovely as you can see. Uh, two thin coats are needed to get a really nice dark smooth green coverage. This paint set I believe really comes into its own when you actually use a colour wheel. Now a colour wheel can be purchased off eBay for a couple of pounds guys and if you're fairly new to painting or like me myself are no expert on colour mixing a colour wheel will really help boost the ability to come up with some really nice colour combinations for your miniatures. Here you can see I'm using the blue and just look at how smooth that paint goes on. Here I believe I'm adding some green to the blue to make more of a turquoise um, colour and as you can see the colour mixes beautifully. And here I'm just going to add a little bit of that paint to the miniature.
here I'm adding a little bit of white to the green blue turquoise mix Here I'm showing you uh, some of the yellow ochre and some of the uh, red oxide and we're going to mix it with a bit of green as well and just show you how quickly and easily you can create so many different uh, colour variants. Okay folks, so let's wrap this review up. I absolutely love these paints guys. They're so nice. The fact that they're highly pigmented and they paint on the model so smooth and with an ultra matte finish is fantastic in my personal opinion. They also um, are great to expand your color palette with coupled with a color wheel and the guides you get in the box you can really go to town on color combinations for these paints with all reviews you need to balance the positives with the negatives of the product but I'm honestly struggling to find a negative in these in this product one could say that the color range is not the greatest and if you didn't want to mix your own colors and you wanted to have unique colors that weren't mixed then maybe this set's not for you you could also argue that if you don't like an ultra matte finish then you might not like these paints but then again that is a satin medium in the um, set so you can actually change the properties uh, from being ultra matte to matte to satin depending on taste but all in guys, I honestly believe that these are some of the nicest paints I've ever tried and I highly recommend you picking them up for yourselves guys and let me know what you think of them in the comments field down below. I really want to hear your thoughts. Don't forget to use that discount code ORCPAINTERNERD10 if you are purchasing the paints as it will save you 10% off them. Also, thank you once again to Chimera Models for sending me the paints out for review. And thank you very much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video, guys. And I'll catch you in the next one.